I am on the beach. You can go see that fortification. It's still there. But do yourself a favor. You're heading down that way. Take the bridge over to Jackal Island and go visit what's called the Turtle Hospital. That place is awesome. the historic district via Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and Georgia's first paved street paved originally with cobblestones and ballast stones from all of our sailing ships. Seaport cities like Charleston, Savannah, New Orleans, we all had cobblestone streets, wrought iron rails, waste products from the sailing days. Then you're going to see this slap ugly building coming up here to my left. Back in the 60s, they built the courthouse. They also did away with one of our squares. We had 24, we're down to 22. We lost one right over there. And the irony was, they built the jail right on top of Liberty Square. Wow. Yeah. Tore the jail out here three years ago to build the camera. I'm just hoping we're not going to be calling that ugly earth. Time will tell. There's also money. another train station here. Most of your early tour guides have been hired in the last four or five years. Don't even know it. It was right down here where you see the flyover. It was called Union Station. That building looked a lot like Grand Central as they were. It really did. Wish you could have kept it, but they decided to tear it out to make way for the end station. Your cultural art center there to your right. Build that with our 1% sales tax money here, squad, as they call it. Now, that building's really neat, though. You can sign up for all kinds of activities, like dancing and sculpting and painting. We work a lot with seniors. Then we have another little dilemma. Uh, we built a new arena out of the west side. Now, what are we going to do about that one down there? The MLK Auditorium. Chances are the city's going to repurpose it. But uh, it's not going to happen overnight. We still have things here uh, on that side. This right here is not going to be touched. That honors John. Uh, I, excuse me, I got to make fun of this guy. Kind of... I thought I'd never see the day Johnny Mercer grew up here in downtown. The man wrote over 1,200 songs. He won the Academy Award four times. He was dominated 19 times. Influenced by black gospel music, blues, jazz, and swing. Johnny lived out the last part of his life out on the south side, an area we call Coffee Club, that happens to sit right next door to the Thank you. <laughs> And the cool, cool, cool of the easy, lazy yeah, bones, my baby the games right of wine me. and roses. My oldest daughter, that who was not to be with me, she goody, set up goody, this tour. Deep first creepers. He wrote all the music for Little After and all the music for Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Plus your beautiful eyes. Because of his association with Judy Garland came the song Skylark. Beautiful, beautiful Thank song. you, Miss Nikki. Thank you for that. Very nice fine venture on the city's east side. Not your typical There's a cemetery right here. It's a Jewish lot of those 14 people. Uh, they had to gather them all up, though, because the city was going to take them out and said, no, we're going to put them right here. So they had a, the road in, so that was the problem. They left them right there, though. Birthplace of Miss Gordon right over there, born in a house on Halloween in 1860. Church to my right is Independent Presbyterian, our tallest church steeple in the city, at 227 and a half feet tall, beating out the Catholic Church by seven inches. Wow. Damn, over there. This right here, y'all, this is the Board of Education. That's the Board of Education. Thank you guys. I'm just taking you. Please this go is my to the city. Theater, the theater. But this is my city. This just is where they shot you. the blockbuster Forrest Gump. That's where they shot the big scene right here. Oh, okay. 
Okay. You never saw that statue's face in the movie, only the back. Oglethorpe is facing towards Florida, keeping an eye on his enemy, the Spanish in St. Augustine. The sculptor God. was Daniel Chester French, the St. Man who was part of the just city. The bench Abraham um, Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. Forrest Gump, Bishop Forrest Gump, that's your first, first on the, the bench that's State here. Yep, old try. Dead Center Orleans, the Dead Center Chippewa. They all lined up like that, east to west and north to south. Statesmen, poets, and presidents said, that's all that handmade wrought iron right there. To the third piece of that down at stop number 12, you'll see a little bit later on. The Savannah Theater coming up, no production tonight. It is the oldest continuously used theater for live entertainment in North America. It was first built on the property in 1818 by the renowned English architect William Jay. Jay was a master builder. And the city found out that he was here and they wanted him to stick around and build other houses. But well, in the meantime, he built this as a favor for the city. But if you were in the theater oh, back in the day, know that. you went here. And later on, people like Laurel and Hardy, Three Stooges, W.C. Fields all performed in the building as well. What's the twins? This is stop number two now. Ooh, you are in for a treat. I know that woman. She's coming on board here, too. This is stop number two, Savannah Theater. Anybody hopping off? Here we go, guys. We got you. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Really? I will have to say, out of all of the our characters that we That's have, interesting. Uh,
so you won't be walking in with strangers. But you'll be leaving with new friends. Now we have been recognized by Esquire magazine, the New York Times. Oh, why, even Mr. David Brinkley did a report from my dining room. Though it is not the thing that matters to me. What matters to me is that everyone who comes to Miss Wilkes leaves full and happy. Oh, so come on down. Why, it would be my absolute pleasure to cook for you. Now, I have heard the wait can be long. Oh, but that food is well worth it. Now, you all enjoy the rest of your tour and your time here in our sweet Savannah, Georgia. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Get the opportunity yeah. to do poke your head in the lobby to look around all the photographs of people who performed here. Kate Fear, the original, Gregory Pack, Robert Mitchum, the, all the scary scenes in that movie were filmed right there at that building, then called Chatham Academy at the time. The building today is still scary. It's our Board of Education, so here we go. <laughs> Continuing on. Underground Railroad <laughs> filmed all eight episodes right here. I was in the last scene with 150 reenactors. They took Chippewa Square and turned it into, get this, West Virginia. Wow. Now, a little cooler up there, so we, they dressed us out in these woolen jackets, right? Well, folks, they shot the sequence here that day when it was 98 degrees. We were not happy. <laughs> Oh, wow. there in Orleans Square, there's a house called the Harper Folks, which you may go visit. Tomorrow is the headquarters of the Friends of Cincinnati. I was able to, to figure out, uh, do some research, that I went and had a relative who fought for the second South Carolina militia during the American Revolutionary War, so I'd be drawing I never have. There's a building right there, though. That house and this house shared the same architect, Mr. Plusky, built both of them at the same time to cut down on expenses. Greg Thank Parker, you, one of our locals, took that over. Greg is an entrepreneur here. Uh, the owner of Parker's Convenience Stores, the old age of them now. But the first one was right behind Savannah Theater. Oh, wow. Fancy dolphin down spout. See the fishies coming up to your right. Protecting your houses here from evil spirits. Uh, to me, they look more like whiskerless catfish. For a cold brew or a hot cup, there you go. Gallery Expresso. I know you remember the little pub here, that movie called Something to Talk About with Julia Roberts. They got good food in here, because it's expensive. Oh, yeah, I remember and the hotel where Elle stayed right before he passed on. I went to the concert. My tribute to the king of rock and roll. You know so he's alive. He ran the rock and roll marathon here November four years ago. I watched it. Here's the group that puts on our big St. Patrick's Day every year. The Knights of Columbus. Columbus. Oh, it's going to be a big one here. Moorish architecture coming up to your right. Moorish. Built by the Georgia Hussars. That was a military unit found in here. That was actually their armory. If you have a little bit of the Irish in your blood or maybe a Roman Catholic, go check out St. Ben Shamrock's. The bar opens up here a little bit later. Stop number three, the house that was built right on top of a Revolutionary War burial site. So guess what? It's private! If that bothers you, tour the house in the daytime, nighttime for the ghosties. Stop number three, anybody? Okay. Caller on the building called Ochre, originated in Babine. Madison Square for President James Madison. Man, it came here twice. Esther Shaver's bookshop to my left is our premier bookshop in the city. Now they want you to stop in, look around, and go pet a kitty cat. 
Yeah, right over there. That's, that's the shaders. Sergeant Jasper lost his life at the train station. Jasper, Georgia. Jasper County, South Carolina. The Irish Jasper Greens are all named in the man's memory. Greek Revival. Gothic Revival. The Green Boulder, built by Mr. Charles Green at the cost of $93,000. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Green could afford it. He was a cotton merchant based out of London who had loaned his house to that northern general William Tecumseh Uncle Billy Sherman during the march to the sea. And Sherman chose not to burn downtown Savannah. We wore a Christmas present to Abraham Lincoln. And today the building serves as a parish of the church right here. Uh, coming on around, this is built by the Freemasons. It has Masonic symbolism on the building. Scad rid it at the bottom part for 14 years and they finally bought it last year. It's called the Griffin Tea Room now. Good cup of tea or a full meal. They'll be open on Thursday. Romanesque architecture to your left. The cannon are real. They're not mock-ups. They serve with the Savannah Volunteer Guards and that was their armory. Interactive children's story. You can actually go look at that and watch it change in the background. You can walk in there too. They, the kids have their artwork in there. So. Yep. Mrs. Wilkes, down the street here. Now, tomorrow, uh, the key here is be there early. I'd say 10 30 for lace. Go down the street, go to cross over Whitaker, and then right behind that boutique over there, Mrs. Wilkes' boarding house right behind it. Yeah, uh, behind one good. fish, two fish on your left. Eat and pass, eat and pass, eat and pass. Anybody from Chicago or Buffalo? They celebrate the man's life up there, Paul Asking. Casimir mortally wounded, shot off his horsey, and we forgot where we buried him. Oops. We buried him. In 1992, we had kind of a freaky star hiss. That thing froze up. It became a monument signal. Seriously, it's a block of ice. And part of the statue broke off at the top. So which they uh, they took that, by the way, it's back in the visitor section. You actually see it. And had to cut a new one. But anyway, uh, in the process of taking all that down and fixing it, lo and behold, he was in it. He wasn't supposed to be there. It took six years to make sure the bones they found in that coffin were his. They did that through mitochondrial DNA. They had to go to Poland and dig up a relative and do it. But it matched. From the book Midnight, In the Garden of Good and Evil, and the movie Glory. Here we go. Mercer House, but no Mercer ever lived in it. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil shot here. Then you also had Glory, Northern General Home in Boston. You saw that though. You sure tomorrow the starts the tour starts in the back. Midnight in the house of good and evil. That's it right there. And this the is house. Mikvah Israel coming up to my left. Mikvah is the third oldest Jewish congregation in America. You missed it yesterday. They had their annual fundraiser. It was called Shalom Y'all. Wow. They, they saw a ton of food in there. They really did. It's Gothic architecture. That's the only synagogue in America built that way. Had a wonderful museum in it. University of Georgia. This is son of Sala. Practiced law in that building here for several years. Uh, Armstrong House dates back to about 1910, built by Mr. Armstrong, an educator. Ah, uh, who's getting ready for this? Uh, when Armstrong owned it, he was just a local, it became a, like a local college after he passed on. But guys, it got bigger and bigger and bigger, and finally they had to move the whole thing out to the south side, and it kept on growing. They merged it with Georgia Southern. Ten uh, Acre Park originally, it was called Hodson Park, now we call it Forsyth. The Marine Corps emblem honoring anybody who served in that branch of our military. And as my good daddy once said, <laughs> the house down there with all the steps is Hodson Hall. The park was Hodson's idea. Now it's 29 acres. The fountain ran $22,500 to order from a mail order catalog out of New York City. They walk their dogs, they sun their buns, and they jog. 
concerts in the park, festivals in the park, lots of weddings in the park. They were three there yesterday. And in the afternoon, I loved it. Yoga. Warrior. The legend of Bagger Vance, Will Smith, Matt Damon, the golfing would be used this house right there. Just sold for 5.6 billion. Wow. This is still historic. Then. We call this Victorian. Yeah, I remember well, over here, you got a bag of bands. Certain colors or color codes you got to the here. Over here, eh, do whatever you want. No rules. Wow. Are anybody from the ATL? A lot of There's a very beautiful winery located on the east side of Atlanta. All near Brazil, but it's called Chateau Elon. That beautiful place, really. They used to own the house at the bottom. This was their uh, their summer home. But then they sold it. It came up I came up bed and breakfast the granite staff and see why here just a moment. And that lasted about four or five years and then they sold it to SCAD. That became their business office right here. Now they're restoring the building. Well, just to let you know, good people, I was raised in Central Georgia, where they grow them peaches. Perry, Fort Valley, Byron, Marshallville, the Peach Belt. So growing up, I called myself a peach-eating, shouting Southern Baptist. Can I get it, amen? <laughs> it was that I did. I went out marry me a South Carolina low country rice-eating Methodist. That meant one of us had to convert, and I was told it was me. I didn't mind. The religion started here. The Westies came up with an old farm. They built the hospital, as a matter of fact. Now, they sold that off many years ago. Um, and Scad bought it. And they finally got this, about two years ago, they finally got it off. This went down to the wire, but they got it in. The dormitory. Back to Mr. Kessler. Follow this. He bought the block. It took him five years to do it. All the houses, everything that was there was purchased and then had to be rezoned for tax purposes. Okay. Now he took out some of the houses here because he needed a parking lot. Merged all that together to form the five star resort. Pet friendly, indoor swimming pool, great place to stay, great restaurant, 700 great. Got all that? First of the year, they're going to knock it out. Doing a brand new complex right here, a big one. This will be stop number four now. If anybody's gonna hop out, number four. Anybody gonna leave? Hello. Hey there. They're back. My pleasure. Great for this. Across the way are two World War One dummy corps. Georgia National Guard trained on them over there. We lost the roof on the second one uh, during Hurricane David back in 1967. I was 19, no, 1976, I just moved here, what happened? They left the roof off. They grow flowers over there for people who are visually impaired to hold smell. We had the band shell and fountain yeah. for, you know, oh, purposes of either being entertained. We have the big uh, uh, events over there. Every this is I'm on a bus tour with my but daughter, the Rain. Had, called Picnic in the Park. Yes, That's a lot of fun. There's 7,000 people so out there. So I'm riding around. Drinking wine, This is my cheese, hometown, Savannah. I'm listening to the Savannah Symphony. And um, learning some interesting things. Call us more to the restaurant. They can get there. Um, so we had a lot of See that green stuff on the market here. street? Resurrection burned a couple of days ago. It was not green, it was brown. Then that so hurricane rolled in, uh, and we got a lot of rain, and yeah. got it lush and green again within about four or five hours. Not the gray stuff. Leave the gray stuff alone. That's Spanish moss. Either Spanish or a moss. It's a plant. It's getting to the pineapple. 
Don't take it home. Leave them just at you. It's got red bugs in it, folks. You don't know if you're going to get chicken or bit or not. It's just taking it. It's not arranged all of this for my birthday. The tree coming up is over 500. That is the Candler Live Oak right there. Got one on our south side, over 1,000. It's called an angel oak. What do you get this big? Look at that tree. That tree is over We're 500 years old. We're not part of old. Omega Grove Citrus. Let's be right. It's a lemon tree. Lemon trees are very pretty. They concentrate out of those. Man just so. picked the fruit though. He left it right off the back. He's saying, man. <laughs> People come out and steal it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Savannah. This is my hometown. And I'm touring my hometown. I got my little right there. My I've name. been here most of my life. Wesley Monumental United Methodist, 1856-1857. Now, with that said, in 1857, when the building was almost completed, that's when the special family was hired to come down here, make and install the stained glass windows, which took about a year to do. The family's last name, by the way, was uh, Ted Sandy or something like that. Twelve stops on this tour. Real deal. Right now we're calling this a hundred day square. The city took the name Calhoun off of it. We have no idea what they're gonna call it. Georgia's first public school building, Massey School, 1856-1857. That is a wonderful museum. See, Mark can pretty close to the day. Uh, we have a young lady here. Looks like she wants to come on board and say hello. Hello, my lady friend. Greetings. Columbus, Ohio, 
Uh, the guy's name turned out to be uh, Dave Thomas. Oh, the owner of Wendy's. Yeah, he's got the bidding right before he passed. Wow. Didn't know that. The Clary's from the book Midnight. Great place for breakfast and lunch tomorrow. Come check it out. Where all the strange and unusual people hang out. By the way, he missed some. <laughs> Girls, here's where the first Girl Guides of America met. That's what they call the first year. The Andrew Lowe house over here to my left is where Julia started Girl Scout Troop number one. That is the house she inherited upon the death of her husband, who she was divorcing. Didn't wow. know that, did you? He was running around on her in England. He got one of them fun diseases. It killed him, and she got the house. Wow. Southern Gothic writer Flannery O'Connor was raised in that one right there. Yep, I know this house. He came here. Her work is rather quirky. Uh, a Good Man is Hard to Find is my favorite Flannery story. He's buried up in Billingsville. Probably chicken had to walk backwards. <laughs> wow. uh, since we're so close to the cathedral, I have a confession. Uh, last year, Right before uh, Thanksgiving afternoon, actually, uh, after a meal with my daughter and the family, I went back to my house and worked on my Christmas decorations. But I fell. I tripped. I don't know what I did. But I came down wrong and broke a bone. I was out for four weeks. That's when it happened. That is when yours truly here became officially a Hallmark movie junkie. And I will admit it. I think I saw every episode they ever made, but anywho, uh, in the background of one, I spotted the Prometheus at Rockefeller Center. Has everybody been there? 30 Rock with the ice skate? Okay. The carving, the Prometheus, the man who did that, did our art of Larry Spear, same sculptor. The world is resting on the backs of turtles. We are indeed a very pet-friendly city. Check this out, a water fountain for dogs. Punch that button, the bowl fills up, gives the food to drink. Still works. In fact, you make for horses. We've got a vegan, if you're into that. Here's the box you see here. All right, good people, this is it. This is the number one thing people, folks who come our city, do not know about this town of Savannah. Concerns that church to your left, who had a minister of music who wrote a song that did not make it rich. <laughs> he barely broke even on the copyright. But you know the song, oh yeah, you know it very well. Born in Boston, lived in Bedford, Massachusetts. Bedford claims the song. We say, ah, no, he wrote it here. First wife died unexpectedly of yellow fever. He would later remarry, moved around the state. But he wound up in, get this, Winter Haven, Florida. That's where he passed away. The body brought back to Savannah and buried with the first wife's family at Laurel Road Cemetery. Does the name James Lord Pierpont ring a bell? Hey, believe me, you know the song. Does it ring a uh, jingle bell? Oh, wow. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, the man is buried a mile from here, Laurel Road Cemetery. The well, Jingle Proving Bells is from Savannah. The shadow of a doubt, the author of Jingle Bells did not like snow either. <laughs> The hub wow. of the Catholic faith, the cathedral. This is the cathedral, guys. It's open if you like to see it. There's another trolley right on the line. Don't carry those. Pausing now for number six. If anybody's going to hop out, number six, the cathedral of St. John the Baptist. Which is all them people. All them ain't going to get on him. I could probably put it on about seven or six. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, JP. Well, we are taking a tour of my city. 
for my yeah. birthday, my daughter had um had um uh, gave me this for my birthday. So I'm um, enjoying my birthday, and my baby girl, my oldest, gave this as a part of my um. So, yeah, birthday festivities. Yeah, my oldest daughter arranged all this for me. So I'm touring my own city. And believe me, she said, that's like she said, it's the last stuff I didn't know. She found out the guy that wrote Jingle Bells lived here in Savannah. You know Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells? Yeah, he lived here in Savannah. Of course, if you remember the movie um, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, which I really knew, um, that was shot here too. Yep. Uh, the Legend of Bagger Vance. Um, uh, which were the, um, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. We're um, How far behind? Glory was shot here. Well, a part of it. You know, we got different areas. It was shot. So, I, um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was real cool. You know, she was right. She was absolutely right. Like, wow. So, but it's all good though. I'll tell you, she was right. There was a lot of stuff I found out. Um, I knew Forrest um, Gump. Um, that scene where he's sitting on the bench. I remember that was there. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, James Patrick came in a few minutes ago. He used to live here in Savannah. He said they actually disassembled the bench because um, people were stealing the wood off of it. So they actually took removed okay. the park bench <laughs> in that zone. Okay. They actually moved the statue, the little bird. This is St. Vincent's Academy, the oldest private school in Georgia, grades 9, 10, 11, and 12, college prep, started by the Sisters of Mercy out of Boston. Do you have to be Catholic to attend St. Vincent's? No, but it doesn't hurt. So, My daughter went non-Catholic out of parish. I'm happy to report I finally paid that loan off. Because of the sisters of no mercy. Yeah. <laughs> so, Made them wear saddle shoes yeah. for all four years. He hated that thing. Alright, coming up to head. my right, something a little odd all to right. have in your backyard. Yep. A dueling yeah, crown. Two weeks, you know it. Dueling in Georgia was actually illegal, but a man's last name and his good reputation very sacred to a son. Yeah, my daughter will raise this for me. Anything the world set these people yeah, off down did. here, especially politics. And All guess what? Still does. Just, like just the right length to ten paces, just the right width, and right next door to the cemetery. Welcome. Wow. First off, Christ Church Cemetery, then South Broad Street Cemetery. Now we call her Colonial. There were 14,000 burials out there once upon a time. Now we're down to about 9,000. When they opened up Bonaventure in Laurel Grove, the lots were bigger, so these people took their loved ones with them when they moved them. And the feller out there in the center is Button Gwinnett, as in Gwinnett County, the first signer of the Declaration of Independence for Georgia. 
If you had his signature, you'd be a millionaire. It's worth a lot of money. He did not sign a whole lot of paperwork in his life. Then he got killed in a duel. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Walking amongst the headstones, you'll start reading them. There's nothing wrong with that. Just be particular. Why? 23 of them are wrong. They were changed by either Sherman's army or modern day vandals, who knows, but they're still kind of fun. We got people buried out here who died before they were born. This fellow right out there outlived Methuselah in the Bible at 1,700. There's Samuel Elbert, Elbert County, east of Athens of the South Carolina border. Yep, red and capital world he's buried out there. But my favorite by far is on the back wall. There's a big white wall door. And right next to it, Josiah Muir. Josiah dies at the tender age of 11, 1 1. His wife was 17, and his son was 12. That's the only police barracks in the United States, nobody knew. Getting a new car park here, though. Anybody here from Rhode Island? They don't get out much. Uh, raised as a Quaker in Rhode Island, he had a lot to do with North Carolina's history. General Nathaniel Green, second in command of the Continental Army. They gave the guy a plantation, took it away from the Royal British Governor, but it killed him in nine months. Yeah, don't go running around on a farm down here in the south in the summertime wearing a woolen jacket, no water, and no hat. Hello, heat stroke. After he passed away, Catherine had the plantation, and she needed help, so she hired this guy to come help her out. Well, she fell in love with him eventually and married the guy. They're the ones who hired Eli Whitney to show up here. That's how we wound up with the cottage. Green is buried here in downtown, and Catherine's at Cumberland Island off of Georgia's coast. That incredible place to go visit. You'll see the ruins of Dungeness. Here we have a historic wiener dog coming up. I like wiener dogs. Oh, look at the wiener dog. Green Square. Now, all the square is the Second African Baptist Church. It's where Sherman gave for the very first time his uh, 40 acres and a mule's feet, Bill Order number 15. And also, that's the know, church that's I went Dr. to. Oh, it, you know, you know, I was going to church for three nights. That's the church. Sermon yeah. here by Mr. Okay. W. W. Law, and they call it, right it the "I Have a Dream oh, Sermon." Now, one of the first places right they probably heard that sermon was right there at the Second African Baptist Church, but he gave it to other churches in the same area as well. The oldest house, of, actually the smallest house, that's the Burgundy right up there, so 1845 clapboard. For rooms and chimney. Straight out 15 miles, you will be at the Atlantic Ocean, Fort Jackson, Fort Pulaski, the Tiny Lighthouse. Don't get a lot of movies out there. Just had uh, Jamie Lee Curtis do Friday the 13th, the finale, until they come out with part two. I suppose that was the end the wrap the whole thing series up, uh, but you can't count on they're going to keep I did Robert Redford's spirit or something. They're, they're going to like keep him calming. They're not going to. They probably will. Love by the ocean. Love by the sea, And uh, Robert Redford's spirit is returning. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We're going to pause for the cops here at number seven, but I need to hop out. Or come on. I don't want to come on or not. Let's see. Anybody going to leave me? That's the pirate's house. There's one right behind me. You got more room on that one. He's right behind me. He's right behind me. Okay. I know, right there, Blinky. It is actually the oldest brick structure in Georgia, right there. There's a tool shed here built for trustee Scar. This was an experimental station where they raised crops. Robert Louis Stevenson spent five months in the building while he was here. Fire's house. We're building a new hotel right there. That's why we're not going to River Street. We've got the exits blocked. Here we have a historic dumpster. <laughs> it was actually built as a Coca-Cola bottling facility, then it became the Holiday Inn for many years. Then the Bryce Hotel today. Earthquake ride. See the rides to your left there, the stars. It could be black, it could be diamond. See a lot of cross the two. They had the earthquake. We caught the shockwave. Put the rods in your buildings, and if we have another earthquake, your house won't fall apart. <laughs> yeah, right. On the battery in Charleston, they call them rainbow row houses. These are ours. See, they all different colors. 1892. Mr. DeVoe, who was he? DeVoe was a freeman. An African American who showed up here in the shipping industry and he revolutionized the folks. He taught them how to do it right. They listened, they got rich, he got rich. He built his own house in 1845. That house is now being restored for the fifth time. He said in the clandestine school for bike show students. The dates 1888, 1798, 1821. When you get your houses up off the ground, see right there? Get to the sea breeze late in the afternoon to cool you off. Here you got 1806 to 1809. Steps, dead center, chimneys outside, up off the ground. Lighter shade of paint reflect the heat. Everybody see that? Good. Look in front of me. Look behind you one more time. It's the same house. A mirrored image of the one in front. General Warren left his life with Bunker Hill. Brothers and sisters, it is truly a sinful, sinful, sinful place to go. But if you go in there, you're on your own. We can't help you, though. Leopold's Ice Cream Parlor. That's yeah. right down there. So I'm talking five pounds of sin now. <laughs> yes. Right over there. The people yeah, that's The family's been at it making ice cream for 103 years. Yeah, I see and that. He's the there. movie producer. Just down the street there. Davenport moved the base of operations over here while they're working on the house. It'd be a permanent situation here, though. I'll dedicate to restoration. Uh, well, they did this in the 1960s. They didn't restore the office, they did restore the carriage house. That's what they're working on right now, getting 100%. Original fish head down spout built in boot scrapers. Keyhole built this on house, brick and metal, I think the burn. Fireproof. The fountain there is again, it's an upside down fish, came from Warren Clove Plantation. Mr. Webb's military museum is right down where you see that burgundy uh, awning there. He has his own military museum, go check it out tomorrow. 1790, wonderful bed and breakfast, great place to come dine, good food in there. Uh, the inn has a little quirk. It's haunted. This is the one they say to look upstairs, you might even see somebody else looking back at you. I don't know about that. I'll tell you this, that restaurant in there will serve you up two times spirits. <laughs> Built yeah, no, by William J. 1820. This is the masterpiece. That's the one you want to make sure you see before you leave the area. 
Jay, the master builder, built this house for his soon to be brother in law who was marrying his sister. That's what brought him here to Savannah. The house had indoor flushable toilets and wall to wall carpeting. The walls are 18 inches of oyster shell. That will keep the temperature inside the house around 70 to 72 degrees all year round. Wow. The banister, handmade in England, brought here by ship. Lafayette made a speech on that balcony, the Marquis de Lafayette. He spoke for three hours. Nobody understood a single word he said. It was all in French. That house is squared. That room is round. Every time has got a curved wall. There it is. You walk in from the hallway to that room, that's curved. You don't say a curved wall, though. Ball's curved. Girls, the steps are called the open arms. You took the right side, then took the left side. The reason for that is simple. Girls are always great. You had to lift the dress to go up the steps. Every time you did that, you exposed your ankles, and gentlemen, no sweaty ankle lusting here. You don't have that. Aha! If you are Lutheran, you're in good company. They've been here for over 250 years over the church. I had the pleasure of spending four days in that building, but that was our base camp for a movie where we were shooting here in downtown Savannah. Perhaps you got to see it. SpongeBob SquarePants, the movie. I got to meet Antonio Banderas. He was a pirate. <laughs> we had five minutes of talk to him. He never broke character. Art this and art that. Also, we were shooting all that here. We discovered that Disney was going to do Lady of the Tramp here. Now, I suggested Bell and Athlete do it. Because, you know, look, the thing is perfect. See right here? Go to the spaghetti scene. And that's where they wound up shooting it, right there. Governor James Wright, Royal British Governor. Uh, he was so well liked by everybody, they left his name on the square. Tom Ochichi was out here to start with, the co-founder of the state, who thinks now he's up behind that boulder right here. They brought in the George Monument, Juliet's family, such as the Georgia Railroad, Girl Scouts, there you go. He was still buried though. We were a state capital, therefore we can have a dome, and there it is. Our gold dome came, the gold came from the lot of the North George Mountain. Look at this one. That's really ornate. They're restoring it right now. They're yeah, a friend of mine um, helping out. Courthouse. Eggs and darts. That's ancient Greek right there. Eggs and darts. Life, death, beginning, end, alpha, and omega. Wax on. Wax on. Now, you know, it's ancient Greek. The disc of marble, by the way, came from Cape Georgia, the North Georgia Mountains. They're 24 down the front, 12 down the side. It represents every color of marble for the state. Excuse me, one second. Ugly complex alert! Filled by the federal government over 40 years ago, we wound up with a shower stall. The preservation is freaked out. The government went, oops, we're sorry, we didn't research this. So they sent us some modern art to make it look better. Can you say Echo Barbell? <laughs> and as you're looking at that building, that building is looking at you. The eye. Stop number nine, Mary's House, Mary Telfair. My favorite female character in history. The woman could have gone bear hunting with a twig. Gave us her house two days before she passed away. Big lawsuit was all the way to Supreme Court for the settlement. Then uh, after six years, it became, uh, and the people in Georgia got the house back. It took them two years to turn out to the art gallery. Anybody want to hop off here, though? Yes. Number nine. Yes. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Okay. We got a winner.
Wait, right here. You can come here right behind me. Mary Telfair never married, but she did have a boyfriend, and he met him earlier, that Mr. Hodson fellow back there at Court Mr. Lake Park. Museum. She looked at him in the eyes and looked, she said, look, sweetie, I love you, you know I do, but I ain't gonna have no man telling me what to do. That's what her baby sister Margaret said. All good. Margaret married the boyfriend, and they all three went up living in the house together. Scandalous. Mary gave us the Mary Telfair Women's Hospital, women only. The only males allowed in that building were cleaning staff and doctors. The girls, if you gave birth to a baby boy while you're in there, you had three days and the baby had to go. Well, good at all. Strictly worked. That building is still there. It's like a southern end of Fort Park. Main Street, USA, like Disney World. The miles with the shopping all the way down, and a mile with the shopping all the way back. Nature them is our anchor. Yep. This is downtown Savannah. The Pacific city market was not retail. It was actually uh, shipping. Oh, you can't go back to the restaurant. There are still something over here going up. You see it? An oxymoron. You yeah. remember those are like jumbo shrimp? Okay, check it out. Prohibition Museum. Prohibition yeah. Museum. This is one of my favorite restaurants, guys. See? Right? We got a bar. Love this place. Pizza. The Bird Cookie Company. This is They're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This is the all city started market, guys. There's the cookie company. This is the bird. B&D Burgers, Monday Night Football. Good place to watch it. Right. I said, we're not going Good to see the market in no time soon, Nah. This is the Wild Wing Cafe. From Decker Ward, they weren't called squares, they were called Ward. This was Decker Ward, the Alvin Square, the Slave Market, the City Market. This is D&D Burgers. Above Ground Car Park. Now the car park actually is on the ground. Oh. And this is the, this is Ellis Park. Uh, they have sprinklers for the kids in the so summer. Because the monster girl of uh, the This piece is there, sorry, Charlie. Mexican over there, and coming up we got Paladino. Hold up, hold up. This uh, right here is uh, a very good dog. Uh, so if you guys decide they want to talk about it, this is... Girls, check uh, this out. This cover, you got the girls, you got the mothers, and you got the acres for the daughters. You also had turkeys for Mexican food. I say this with the highest respect. The butter finally caught up with her. Somebody, yeah, somebody read her the riot act. She's losing a lot of weight now. This is good, too. I'm not really sure about that. Her brother did have his way. Uh, uh, he's uh, the son. They just got breast on this. Bobby Dickinson. I don't know if you guys remember this place or heard of, but this is the lady and sons. This is Paula Dean. You may have seen her on the uh, the Food Network channel. But that's a restaurant now, right here. Now, you are going to go right by it. When you merge with Highway 80, out of Thunderbolt, about a mile down, you run into Brian Woods Road. You take a right, you take a left, and you go. Thank you, good person. First square, largest square, the heart of the city. Government buildings were on the north and south. People buildings for the people were east and west. And it's pretty much held that way. The little alleyways right here too. That's where the people could have little, uh, little uh, places where they grow vegetables and stuff. They better hurry up. They can put the Christmas tree up right there. What's that? They put warming on that. The mother. Oh, by the way, the General Nathaniel Green's final resting spot. Stop over number four for the good general. I don't know what it is about the south, but we sure love digging up dead people. Stop number four. 
the mother church, the oldest congregation, not the oldest church building, that's the fourth. John Wesley preached here with Juliet Church and Johnny Mercer sang in the choir. Tomorrow morning, twins will reopen for breakfast and lunch. Met her about nine years ago at the breakfast, uh, the breakfast club there at the well, Wilmington Island Sunrise, was called Good Breakfast. Lovely personality. And you go by here tomorrow and you'll meet her. Uh, she's a great girl. Riddle, Riddle Square, you the second governor. John Wesley's statue, though. I mean, Mr. Wesley's founder. Mr. Lucas, not George, no, this is another Lucas, he owned 20 beers, but only one bore his name, that this one right there. This is the Lucas Theater. There's a lot of old Lucas in there. Peacock's doing it, you're going to pamper the girls, but you've got to have a reservation for the If you don't, you can go, maybe they have a table, you just have to go find out. You don't want to go in the bar, you got to get to the bar. Right there to your left, the Peacock. Oldest house in downtown, built in 1771 by the Habersham family. This will be number 10. If anybody's hopping out. Biggest event we're going to host this year over there at the convention center. Hot starts this Friday or Saturday, Friday or Saturday. It's called Fit Head Drop. Uh, Cook for Bank of South. It's a lot of fun. Everybody. I'm kidding. Y'all just have a great afternoon. My pleasure. Hey, if you have any Methodist friends, oh girls, don't have a bad one. If you have any Methodist friends, so you saw the weather vane on top of that building that came from the oldest Methodist church in the world. It was the Columbia. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. No skydiving. Jump off there. Okay, one to grow on. There you go, Mama. We have a free boat ride. You pick it up at the Hyatt, takes you to the Weston, and down here to the River Street Marriott. It makes a run about every 35 minutes. Costs you nothing. It's for free free. It's called the water taxi. I call it the cheap man's boat ride. Working on a low tide now. Brackish water, combination of fresh and salt. So uh, far, we brought up 19 British cannon out of the river. They finally found the city of the city of the city hall. We received the gold dome on the top. Army Corps of Engineers has brought up a total of 19. They're preserving This is downtown. There's more in the river. We are the in, in my hometown of Savannah, Savannah Georgia. My daughter rings this tour for me as part of my birthday. They found cannonballs, present. they found chips and stuff that came off those ships, like bottles and plates and saucers and stuff. So this is downtown Savannah. Stores. This is Bay Number Street. Number 12, and right they might be leaving me. This is Bay Street. Right here in this. Real chilly. Right here, down here where we're at. Have lions, have eagle, and had nothing to do with Harry Potter. Griffin, the Griffin job was to protect the price. So I figured I would take you guys on a tour with me. Yeah, here, well, so yeah, this is Savannah, Georgia. This is downtown Savannah. Fourteen years ago, I pulled up here on a Saturday morning to read the newspaper and took some coffee, and I heard it, but I didn't see it. The lady coming down Drake Street passed out. The sleep of the wheel. Oh. Came across the intersection against the red light, then hit a car. Went through that tiny opening by the fire plug. Then he scraped it. Hit the fence, hit the pond, blew up the griffin, out the back, across the bridge, and bounced off the front steps of the cotton exchange, and she didn't even know she did it. Wow. And she survived. She did survive it. Took two years to help the damage fix. Uh, guess who owns a piece of the rock now? I took some souvenirs off that day. That's the the, the, the line. That's the old cotton exchange right there, that white building. Yeah. 
Yeah. George and Martha, the Washington guns, coming up here to your right. One's English, one's French. Now, how do you supposed to know that? Actually, there's a way. Martha is a French cat. Martha was on a gun carriage or she could have been on ship. But regardless, she has a mermaid etched into the barrel. From the top of the barrel all the way down to the end of it. You walk over that little wrought iron fence and that can see it. Then behind that we have uh, the building where the University of Georgia got its start. Thomas That's my baby girl right there in front of me. There's your PC. This is why I do not like coming downtown. Because it's all this busy. And this is like 4.46 in the afternoon. That we're down here. The elevator to take you down to River Street is over to your right. That's City Hall right there. And that's where you pick up that free boat ride too, go over to the Hyatt Regency. The river. Right University, cool. uh, then you actually have the, right here is where they call it Oglethorpe's Bench. That is where Georgia officially started right there. It's where Oglethorpe's campus was not here. It's always been a marker in this high school. This is Church Hill. Hotel, the Boho, the Bohemian. The Moon River Brewing Company. What do you see the third? That looks pretty good. That looks down. Oh, that's pretty good. And there's Ruth Chris Steakhouse. The oldest building on River Street is the Park House.
one over there is for Mr. Oglethorpe and Troy. You love the trees, walking. Chris. Starbucks. Like the trees. Oh, we started that not cool. Yeah, we had to move our stop number 14. Uh, they were getting ready to build a hotel. Uh, and they started to move it down to uh, Delta Tree Hill Gardens. And then lo and behold, we find out we've been parking those dead people. The entire time they found human remains there. That was shocker. Embassy Suites, about 10 minutes at the most. A lot of traffic there. <laughs> Let me guess, you're at the end. See the train thing? I'm trying to take you back home. It's the train. What are you going to do? See the traffic? That's why I hate coming if back. If you want to park at least City Market there, and see how this is people parking, um, you go in and drop down. Three levels. Three levels. Three levels. Three levels. Three levels. Yeah, they built that. right now. They deliberately went down uh, 42, they got 43 feet. They hit water at 42. And they're pumping that water into the sewer system to reclaim it. You know what, Mom? We got that. 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 We got But these are different stops. The truck stops they do, you can stop right in these things and get off. You have to reach to the next trolley. Well, there's an elevator right there. Now. I wasn't planning on getting on. I just went. I was just riding. Until we got back to where we going. Okay. 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 Put my camera real quick. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm telling you, it, they got this thing on. See, this is open window. And it is cold as heck here today. And it's been overcast all day. The marker over there actually talks about that. So the heat of the sun we have not had story. today. He was about, he came here, worked with Savannah Morning News at 8. Uh, and my phone was starting to get a little low, so I don't want to get too he low. He left his town of full-blown editor in chief. But I just want to thank you guys for coming and joining me today. The uh, this was part of my, my oldest daughter's birthday present to myself. Um, earlier, I had lunch at Carabas. And um, See right there, this you was got the it, second it day like I was doing it, right? I had one other thing, the thing to do, thing, but, but unfortunately, it was painful with a twist, thing. but they canceled the class tonight. So yeah, right um, there, but she's got the credit for me, so I can go and check that out when I get a chance. So. There's but a Kessler's anyway. new one now. That's a big one. I can see the big one. But thank you guys. I really appreciate they you want guys coming. I just want to show you some of my beautiful historic city. One story. And if you ever get a chance, come and visit us here in Savannah, Georgia. Okay? We have lots of history here. We have some beautiful sites here. And um, you won't be disappointed. When you come okay. down here, though, you so see guys, the mud on the middle. Okay, Sorry about that. So guys, I thank you. You guys be blessed. Yeah, Continue to be okay. safe. And I will catch you guys. Benjamin Franklin Square, our last stop, and we're back okay. to number one. So guys, I'll catch I'll you drop on the Wednesday. Off here in a minute. Okay, for Worship Wednesday, yes, all right? And remember, I will be celebrating my birthday the that. whole entire month, okay? So... Again, when for I those of you who want to um, hobby, I didn't know do something voluntary, you can get this item. My uh, cash app is in my bio. My uh, Zelle and my PayPal are in my link. That's uh, my link tree link. That's right there in my bio. And of course, I have an Amazon wish list. If you want to grab something off there for me, you know. We are now at number 14 in the device ending um, hopping off here. So yeah, I just want to tell you guys, leave. thank you so much. I appreciate you guys hanging with me in this. Of course, like I said, it's going, my going, oldest going, daughter gone. gift to me. Right, so um, 
thank you so Baby much for go coming and for joining me. Right I here. bless God for you. I pray that heaven will I like Belfort too. Belfort had a fire last yeah. summer. But, for each and every one of you on so today, okay? Are you in those blessings, Peter? How are you? It is today the yeah. oldest black church in North America. You're looking at it, right? It's from South Africa. 1859. Built by members of the Branson Plantation. I actually have a picture of the steeple and that building that first finished it. That steeple uh, got taken out by a hurricane. So both of the ship there, they have called it Cap. We just spent a uh, past the uh, African. Uh, All in African favor of pulling American. over and everybody getting a tattoo. I'll tell you this um uh trolley driver is true. But um anybody who um uh, There you go. We have uh second African and they're the oldest <laughs> churches in not just Savannah but in America. We have the oldest church here in America. Okay, so um you drag that little curve here just like you guys say I'm gonna hear both So um Yeah, I hear the plan Probably still great. Right. Uh, um, I just do. Uh, just want to thank you guys. Probably all the little Sicilian, the little Italian, and I hear they drink a little Vito. And there's a restaurant guy that you guys buy at this time. Just the name of the call. Give this guy's. It's a little Billy Craig Bill Building, built with the Scarborough family. Very intimate restaurant. I've been there. Um, me and my baby daughter went there. The, the, the desserts are delicious. Look, they really are. It's a very intimate restaurant. Um, the lights are very low. Pretty much the table. Um, the lights are the only ones that you have. And do you recall Shelby's Big Boy and Strawberry Pie? But, the last one that left us was on Big Tree Drive. And but, uh, the property is very there nice for place like so four or five you years. And uh, your, um, showing um, big boys the whole time. Want to go somewhere and very then finally he nice. disappeared because I took him over to the Catholic Diocese. Go so and um, take, go around. and check <laughs> that out. If you're ever here in Savannah, it's located here on Broughton Street. It's called Better Than Sex. But he disappeared yes, again and I finally found him. Right it's a here. dessert restaurant, actually. So, it's very nice, very nice. Very nice. Well, guys, like I said, my phone is starting to get a little low. But I want to thank you guys. Yep, that's what's called better. That's the name of it. And, and the desserts. Hey, look, the trash on the table is really funny. When the waitress comes to talk to you about your dessert, it's very sexual and sensual. The way she just talks about your dessert that you're getting. Yeah, so. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, Ali Bless Angel, but this is a very right nice there, yeah. restaurant. It really is. So, but, um, this is all I dropped there to you guys in case you're ever here in Savannah. That's your Greyhound bus terminal right here. Um, so, um, Unfortunately, our museum will be already shut down by the time we get there. Well, I just want Thank you guys. Okay, I'm going to go to the number one stop first and then to the Welcome Center and then I'll drop in to see Sweet right over here. Anybody else need to ride back to a hotel on the Embassy? Okay. But, uh, it's very nice. It's very nice. Uh, we're doing a lot of construction here. Let me show y'all real quick. I'm taking that track trailer. We're doing a lot of construction here. That's the courthouse right there. This used to be a jailhouse right here, but they tore it all down. I'm not exactly sure what they're building here now. So, it's a lot here. It's a lot. That's my baby girl right there in front of me. She was riding along with me. And, um, like I said, my oldest daughter. But my oldest daughter was not able to come. So this is what she arranged for me. Amen. So um, I just thank God. And we've been having a lot of um, food. A lot of, uh, yep, bubbles. 
Yep, Bobo Seafood. So I just thank God for this tour. And we've been having fun freezing at the same time. Let's go. Amen. <laughs> so you guys, y'all be blessed, okay? Y'all have a great day. And I will catch you guys later because I don't want to burn my whole phone out. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me. And I'll see you guys, Lord willing, on Wednesday for Worship Wednesday, okay? All right, guys, have a great day. Love you guys.